hello, 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 hello. How is everyone? I hope you're good. I'm Rain, and today it's just gonna be me because my sister is actually at work right now, um, and I stayed home from work because cramps. Um, but I am going to do a little reaction for you guys just by myself. I asked on our community tab um, if you guys wanted to see me do a reaction to the Bay vs. Um, uh, Woods episode or Woods documentary. Um, and I really, really, really want to do it. So we're going to do it. People said yes. So I was like, well, I'll go ahead and do it since it came out relatively uh, not too long ago. I just, I love this man so much. If you guys didn't know, he is my ultimate male soloist. So he's special place in my heart for sure and i just don't want to cry but i feel like i will i was going to use my fucking um airpods to listen to this but they started crackling in my ear and it hurt and we're not going to do that so we're just going to listen to it the way that we normally listen to things because i don't know what the fuck was happening i don't know what was happening i could try it with my regular headphones but i don't know if i should okay so it plays well, it plays okay. Now let's see if I can actually record it with the headphones in, or the earphones in. I have a feeling it's not gonna work, but we'll try. Just don't start crackling, cause that shit got loud and very scary. If I cry, I cry, shit happens, tears run. It is what it is. I will post a link to my Woods Lightstick unboxing that I did on my personal channel. Um, if you guys wanna go see that, um, I did like a whole like vlog slash decorating video for that, so I was that i i love this man so and i talk about how much i love this man in that video so if you want to see that video after watching this video go right ahead but we are just going to get straight into this because i am nervous about everything welcome to my babyverse episode one woods i don't know if you guys want me to do all of everybody like i know i am is next i believe um so if you want us to do that we could probably do that together me and my sister because um Monster X is her one of her top male groups, so I know she'd probably want to see that one. A long time ago, they say that humans can see music with their eyes. Music one could see was beautiful and took different forms for each individual singing or playing. The inner soul in each musician was visualized through music. People called this visible music favors and through it they could understand each other completely okay i can tell i'm gonna cry and there lived a boy who loved music oh god The 되게 조심해야겠다는 생각을 그때 많이 했던 것 같아요. 그래서 더 감추고 강식은 아니지만 뭔가 좀 자연스럽지 못한 모습을 보일 때 되게 싫었어요. 저는 제 모습을 보는 게. Oh my god. Okay. This is gonna be rough. I can already tell it's gonna be rough. Like I already feel connected to him more now in a way, because I also feel the same. Obviously not in the music realm, but just every day. And like, I think about how others perceive me and like, I do worry about what others think of me, like outside of, you know, like there's days where I'm like, oh yeah, I don't give a shit. And then there's other days where I'm like, oh my God, you know, I think about those things, even though I know that I shouldn't. And it's, it can take its toll. It really can. So. Oh, 
저가 저를 많이 못 믿는 것 같아요. Oh my god, no. 계속 의심을 해요. 그거를 좀 내려놓으면은 좋겠다. No, 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 no. Oh god. 안녕하세요. 복잡하지만 단순한 우주입니다. 특이한 상황으로 인해서 이렇게 됐을 때 약간 현실성이 없게 느껴지는 부분이 좀 있었고 다시 데뷔를 해도 그때와 같은 관심을 어, 혹여나 못 받을 수도 있다라는 걸잘 견뎌낼 수 있을까? 승현이를 딱 보자마자 우주보다는 조승현이라는 사람이 눈에 보였던 것 같아서 좀 다독여주고 싶었던 생각이 컸던 것 같아요 그냥 보면 조승현은 되게 동네 꼬마 아이 같은데 우주는 좀 조승현을 못 살게 보이죠. 생각도 많고 저는 앨범 프로듀싱도 하고 있고 플레이어로서도 활동을 하고 있고 <웃음> 어렸을 때부터 음악 듣는 걸 좋아했던 것 같아요. Oh, 그 아버지가 올드팝을 되게 좋아하셨었어요. 뭐 비틀즈라든지 예전에 나왔었던 노래 되게 많이 틀어주시면서 그런 밴드나 그런 팝에 대한 영향도 되게 많이 받았고 어렸을 때 막연하게 하고 싶은 거에 대한 거를 해야만 하는 성격이었어요. 오디션을 한 40번, 60번을 본것 같아요. 다 떨어졌죠? 다음에 또 하면 되지 또 하면 되지 그러니까 언젠가 문이 열릴 거라는 생각을 크게 하고 있었던 것 같아요 그래서 아이돌로 데뷔를 해서 유니크를 데뷔를 했는데 생각보다 안 됐어요 왜안 됐지? 왜안 될까? 여러 가지 감정이 교차했던 것 같은데 근데 제일 들었던 생각은 그 다음은 뭐 해야 되지? 라는 생각이었던 것 같아요. 왜 보여줘야 하지? 내가 왜이 직업을 해야 하지? 까지가 된것 같아요. 아, 멈추있으면안 된다. 그냥 그럼 지금 이제 내가 하고 싶은 걸 해보자 해서 작곡을 제대로 시작하게 됐고 또 힙합이 좋아서 또 이제 오디션 프로그램 또 나가게 됐죠. 이제 쇼미더머니라는 프로그램 나가게 되었고 원하는 목표가 있었으면 목표는 보고 가야 되지 않겠냐라는 생각으로 시작을 했던 것 같아요. I feel like this. Oh my God, Kim. Okay. I feel like this is like a lot more. It makes the idols more relatable. I feel like because obviously you don't see this side to them every day, and like in their in their in their. I mean, you see it in their work. Now that you know, like how they were feeling and what they were thinking during the production and everything like that, but. It makes you feel a little bit. I mean, they're always still gonna feel, I guess, a little unattainable because I mean, they are, you know, they are idols and they do their own thing that you know normal people will never be able to experience. But you still get to like know that they have their own troubles, and while well, you don't want that, like you know that it, the troubles that you have, you're not so alone in anymore. I guess. Um, and I'm also the. I'm also honestly similarly the same way, like wanting to. Feel like I need to pursue everything that I, I think of and I think I'd be good at, and like everything that I have an interest in, I feel like, oh yes, I should pursue this, I should pursue this, and it's, it can take its toll. I feel like it can, it can definitely hurt you and burn you out along the way, no matter who's doing it, whether you're an idol or a, a regular everyday person. So, Kino. 제 인생에서 뭔가 승현이가 빠지는 거는 
상상하게 힘들었지 정말 그 당시에 이 친구가 좋아하던 음악 그리고 승현이가 내뱉는 목소리를 다 기억을 하니까 랩을 하던 것도 기억이 나고 승현이가 자기 힘든 얘기를 안해 분명히 이제 힘든 일이 있을 텐데 그런 얘기를 잘안 해서 좀 아쉬워요 Then one day, the boy was so mesmerized by the music emanating from him that he wished to live in the music forever. But the visual forms dissipated from his eyes the moment music stopped. I actually like the way that they do that because it reminds me of Feel Like where he's literally in the music. You know, he's standing on the guitar. He's literally, he comes out from the computer. I like the way that they kind of um, tie those two things together. And like, true, it truly shows how much he wants to be like a part of the music. Like, music is him, and he is music. Like, that's who he is as a person. And it just it shows how passionate he is, which is wow. Okay. First things first. That tattoo, I can't. 그러니까 우울증은 아니었어요 시작이 저는 oh, 좋은 것 같은데 어, 이게 부정적인 생각이 좀 가득 차지면서 그때부터 좀 우울증으로 넘어갔던 것 같아요 이상과 현실의 yeah. 약간 차이에서 오는 이질감이 좀 많이 힘들었어요 제가 생각하는 가수, 음악은 되게 사랑 가득하고 행복하고 서로 좋기 위해서 만든 노래라고 생각했는데 현실은 그것보다 경쟁이 더 치열하고 경쟁하려고 음악하는 거 아닌데 우리 다 좋다고 하는 음악이 왜더 좋고 더안 좋고가 돼야 하지? 라는 생각에 뭔가 되게 괴로웠던 것 같아요 제가 힘들었을 때 썼던 2년 동안의 일기를 쓴 노래가 이제 아무 의미란 노래인데 사실 그 노래는 어, 이걸 얘기했었는지 잘 모르겠지만 자살에 대한 내용이에요 사실 물론 그런 거를 이제 실제로 행동하려고 생각도 안 해봤지만 그래도 그 당시에는 풀리지 않는 일들의 연속이 계속 있으면서 그런 일기를 썼던 거를 그걸 한번 써봐야겠다는 생각을 뭘 썼던 것 같아요 I wonder how difficult this was for him to do. Sitting across from people, people you know, people you don't know, and just like not speaking. It reminds me of some, there was some art exhibit. take me forever to get through but I like that it's really tough for the younger generation these days and I, I think I still consider myself part of the younger generation even though, you know I'm almost 30 but I'm you know I'm a millennial I grew up you know late 90s early 2000s and it's like I still think it's really tough for especially for millennials and Gen Z to like I think I feel like we constantly feel like we have to be doing something and constantly have to like pursue something like the hustle and grind culture or whatever like you constantly have to be doing something and you have to be happy about it you can't you know what i mean i don't know it's and if something doesn't go the way that like society thinks it should go then suddenly you feel bad about like your direction in life and i just oh, seeing him cry is not good for me being able to hear him talk about things that have like hurt him and things that you wouldn't normally see because 
they don't talk like it's not talked about enough in my opinion and I, that's why I kind of like the fact that they're doing this because it's like it helps you one understand not Woods the artist but Sun Yun the person more than anything else yeah I'm gonna cry <laughs> even more <laughs> oh god Oh. I didn't know that he passed away. Oh. 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 아버지 본 모습이었어요. 되게 낭만 있는 분이셨어요. 제가 어렸을 때부터 하고 싶은 거를 하게끔 해주고 싶어 하셨었고. I'm cute. 어렸을 때부터 계속 하셨던 말이 이제 승현이가 스무 살 되면 아빠랑 타투 하나 하자. 그리고 아빠랑 할리 타고 전국 일주로 한번 돌자. Oh my god, no. 그래서 이제 사실 타투를 하게 된 것도 아버지 약속을 지키고 싶어서 사실 한 거이기도 해요. 점점 점점 그 빈자리를 알아가는 것 같아요. 지금 아, 아버지 I know the tattoos had meaning, I just didn't know what they were. 이런 생각을 했을 수 있겠고. 있었으면 이런 말을 들었겠고. 그런 생각을 많이 하죠. 요즘에 <웃음> 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 Maybe I shouldn't have reacted to this. What the fuck? <웃음> 되게 좋아요. 되게 사람이랑 닮았다고 생각을 해서. 뿌리가 내려서 나무가 피고 꽃이 피고 뭐 풀잎이 피고 한 데까지 시간이 더 걸리듯이 사람도 성숙한 나무처럼 자라는 데까지 시간이 필요하잖아요. 그런 부분이 되게 닮았다고 생각하고 나무는 가지는 되게 가볍지만 그 대신 그 나무는 또 뿌리는 엄청 무겁게 깊게 내려 앉아 있으니 되게 건강한 나무 같은 사람이 됐으면 좋겠다라는 생각을 가지고 살아왔죠. 모르겠어요. 지금까지 오래 들어가서 계속 저랑 솔직한 저 본질적인 저랑의 대화를 많이 했는데 지금은 정말 퓨어하고 되게 클린한 상태인 것 같아요. 제 마음 상태. 지금까지 되게 꾸며진 모습들을 생각을 많이 하면서 보여줬으니 그냥 솔직하게 너답게 있어 보자. 하고 싶은 게 뭔지 정확히 알아가는 단계인 것 같아요. As time passed. People started to realize that in the forest. I mean, it's anything that you can hope for is just to be a healthy and beyond the sea, healthy person with a healthy mindset. World. I mean, it's a healthy way to look at life is to want to grow healthy and grow, grow better as you age and get older. So, uh, I like that. I like that saying. Hey, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. I'm gonna just cry the whole time. And like barely talk. It was long after the disappearance of the boy who, until the end, believed in the power of visible music. Again, I like that they're bringing that up because it gives me, it's bringing me back to Feel Like and the music video itself where you see the music. That song and that video is hitting me a lot harder now that I'm watching this. <laughs> Because you are. 
느낌? 어, 제가 얘기하고 싶은 거를 음악으로써 전달할 수 있는 뮤지션이 되는 게 제가 생각한 가장 이상적인 미션인 것 같아요. 그래서 계속 작업을 하게 되고 뭔가 제 안에 있는 걸 보여주고 싶은 느낌이 많이 드는 것 같아요. 요즘에 제 최대의 관심사에 대한 얘기를 좀 썼어요. 룰러바이라는 노래고요. 현재 가수분들이 가장 하고 있는 큰 힘든 일면들이 뭐예요? 팬분들을 만나지 못하고 얘기를 못 하는 게 really 거의 2년 되는 시간 동안 코비드로 인해서 저희가 좋지 못한 상황을 맞이했잖아요. 어, 자연이 우리를 두고 떠나갔다. 그래서 그런 디스토피아적인 곳에 우리 남아 있다. 난 여기서 기다리고 있을 테니 다시 돌아와 달라. 괜찮아질 거다. 오, 지금 이 상황이 이제 두 번째 거에서 이제 따다단 세번 찍는 거 있잖아. 한 음씩 내려가 내려가는 게더 멋있을 것 같아. 따다단. 따다단. 저희 판 내는 거 있다. 알지. 저 항상 이 판은 형이 하는 거 내가 모를 거. 이스키우 같은 경우는 같이 앨범 작업을 할때 항상 같이 일을 많이 하는 친구예요. 저를 표현하는 대부분의 그래픽을 오늘은 친구가 했고 그 앨범 디자인이라든지 이 노래를 발매를 할때 나오는 이미지. 지금 만들고 있고요. 크리에이티브한 무언가를 만들어 가고 싶다는 생각이 있었어요. 새로운 움직임을 가져갈 수 있을 만한 영향력이 있는 사람이 됐으면 좋겠다. 그게 옷이 됐던 음악이 됐던 앨범이 제가 가지고 있는 생각을 같이 구체화 시키는 작업을 하면서 앞으로 재밌는 흐름을 계속 만들어 가고 싶다는 생각을 하고 있어요. As another creative, I love that that mindset of like not like yeah, he's a musician. But he doesn't want to only be seen as a musician. Like he wants to be, like, influential to other parts of the creative community, and I really like that. Oh, I love this one. 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 사실 난 그래도 좋긴 한데 그냥 뭔가 이 인물이 뭔가 이렇게 앉아있다가 털고 이런 상태에 쭉 가는 느낌이 나을 것 같아요. 너 컴퓨터 가져올 수 있어 지금 뭐지? 이미지를 살짝 보여드리면 좋을 것 같아. 어 빛나는 사건에 이거네. 약간 이런 느낌이거든요. 어 진짜 디스토피아다. 어 멋있다. 멋있다. 했으면 좋겠어요. 여기 이제 사람. Oh I love that. Oh that's pretty. 공통점은 결국 다 여기 빛이 있다는 거. 그러니까 이제 플라이마스를 끄고 가자. 결국 우리는 답을 찾을 것으로. 그렇다면은 더 뒤에 갔을 때는 더 기타가 많이 되는. I thought I saw something. 아, 연주 느낌 나. I love the song. The song sounds so beautiful. 아유, 울버릇이 그 같네요. 아이고, 너무 잘 컸네. 멋져요. 눈이 엄청 선하신 것 같아요. Oh, that's sweet. 별일 없지? 별일 없지? <웃음> 자신의 보통 주관이 뚜렷해 보이는 청년 같아요. 음, 앞으로 행복하게 자신 원하는 일 하면서 사시길 바라겠습니다. 응원할게요. <웃음> This is too much right here. At least, no. Welcome to my papers. That was so rough. <laughs> oh.
Okay, that was, I had to take a minute. That was a lot. Sorry I didn't speak much. I didn't know exactly how I would like feel watching it. So I was like, I don't know what I want to say too much, which is why I tried to pause when I did say stuff. But one, that was incredible. I, I, like I said, I didn't know what to expect from it. I just loved everything about it. I loved how real, I love how real it was. I like that you got to see a side of him that you wouldn't normally see um, of any idol either, not just him, but I think it definitely shows him being one of, you know, my, my ultimate male soloist and everything. And my ultimate male idol, or one of my ultimate male idols, it's, it's, and the, the impact that his music's already had on me without knowing these things. This definitely just pushed, further ingrained how much I love his work and how much his work sticks with me. It kind of saves me in a way because it's, it's, it's what I listen to when I kind of need to center myself and just be happy, which is what he wanted. He wanted people to be happy when he listened to their music. But you also, that can't be your sole like reasoning for, for it, you know, you, got, you, 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 I like that he shows eventually that he, he does it because he wants to, he just wants to, you know, have a way to express himself and express his, his, his feelings and everything. And I like that he does that through his music because it's, though he does it, but he does it in a way that I feel like can definitely relate or resonate with a lot of people. Resonate is the word I was looking for. I feel like it can resonate with a lot of people and I feel like he he truly is just such a talented, talented, talented man. And I just, I'm so glad that he's able to do what he wants to do and make the music that he wants to make and be happy. And I, I just, I, I mean, you never want anyone, especially one of your favorite artists to feel like overwhelmed and not good enough and their work's not good enough. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot, me along with the rest of his fans just want him to know how, like, how much he's helped save them in a way and how much his music has really played a part in their lives even if you know they just got into him recently I mean music can affect you in any timeline it doesn't have to be like you know, it doesn't have to be something that you heard when you were younger and uh, like lived with it for your entire life. Like I've had some of the most like influential times in my life happen with music that I just heard, you know, and it's like music definitely helps. I feel like music is definitely a very universal thing. Anybody can resonate with it, with it and relate to it. And you know, even if you're not a musician, like I feel like it's something that is definitely a very universal language for a lot of people. And I feel like it's seeing him being able to live his truth and expose his truth the way he wants to expose it and show people, it just, it's, it's beautiful. Sorry, I just love this man so much. I wanna meet him so bad one day and just tell him how much he's helped me and how much his music has helped me and like just I just I hope that he can live the life and the truth that he wants to live without worrying about what other people think you know because nobody should nobody should have to worry about what other people think when it comes to their own passions and I mean it's it's definitely very relatable as another artist even though I'm not a musical artist like you definitely worry about what other people are going to think about your work and you know if it's going to be good enough or anything like that it's something that you have to work through you have to work through that feeling because i feel like it's definitely it's definitely a relatable feeling across the board not just with creative people and artists but i feel like it's just easier for me to relate to it because i am a creative person and i am an artist as well so it's definitely something it's definitely it's just it's definitely something that stuck with me i just want him to be happy I, I I love this this series so far. I like the way that it's it's unfolding, and I'm excited to see I Am's, which I believe is the next one. So I'm excited to see his story and what he has to talk about. But yeah, I'm just gonna go before I cry again. But anyways, if you like, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we upload. Even though she's not here we do upload together. You can follow me on my personal channel. It'll be down in the description below. Um, we will be uploading 
soon probably more like compilation videos just while we get suited or get used to like our lives with our job and school and everything like that um because it is it's very hard trying to navigate everything um but we're gonna do that and we're definitely gonna start back up our patreon again so just look forward to all of those things um we'll you know send out any any new things through the community posts or through videos and things like that but anyways yeah if you're not subscribed you should and if you are thank you and we'll see you guys in our next video bye you don't